What's up guys, Kino here, and uh, this is going to be the first episode of the Losers series that uh, I will be starting. Um, probably going to try and do maybe one a week. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, today I got a match against Larvergust, and as you can see, I'm using a UU team, and he is using an OU team, so that's you know certainly one of the reasons but that I lost. But um, I want to go into team matchup for this match, you know. Um, Beyond just me posting a match of me losing, I want to talk about, you know, why I lost, what I could have done better, maybe explain team matchup. And for this battle, uh, team matchup was definitely a, uh, a huge part of it. Yes, obviously I'm at a disadvantage because I had a UU team and he had an OU team. But, you know, it, UU teams can still do work um, against OU teams. But this matchup specifically was just extremely uphill. Um, reasons why. Uh, well, let's take a look at both teams real quick. My team, as you can see, uh, is... Well, I don't know if you can see or not, but my team's a sticky web team, basically. Um, Shuckle is Mental Herb. It's got both rocks and webs, so I'm guaranteed at least one hazard up. Uh, sturdy plus Mental Herb. There's really nothing they can do to stop that except for Magic Bounce. Um, but the thing is, sticky web is not going to be very good in this matchup because he has a Bisharp. Now, reason... That's you know scary is because Bisharp comes in, uh, Sticky Web will Sticky Web will lower its speed, but because of its Defiant ability, his uh, attack stat will be boosted by two, and then at that point he just sucker punches my entire team except for um, except for uh, Toxicroak and everything dies. Um, so I I really can't afford to Sticky Web on this guy. Um, in addition to that, he has a Mega Low Punny, which I have no switches for. He has a Manaphy, which if it sets up, it just six O's my team. Um, I, it, my team's pretty slow without sticky web, and I can't sticky web. That's the basis of it. So during this match, I make some really aggressive plays. I want to keep momentum, and I do a pretty decent job until one point. You'll see it. But yeah, let's jump right into the match so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So at this point, uh, like I said, he has a lot of very scary threats. I want to mega evolve my Blastoise pretty quickly, um, just so I can you know start start off. Uh, having something that can tank some hits, I can have some pivots. Blastoise was also a pretty decent lead against a lot of his team. Unfortunately, he leads with Manaphy, which is terrifying. Also because this Manaphy happens to have like the perfect moveset for my team specifically, as you guys will see. So he tail glows up and he reveals that he does have the Psychic. I was thinking I'd probably be able to take a uh, non-life orb, enter um, uh, what's it called, Ice Beam, because um, I would absorb Scald and um, HP or in a hit power, uh, gra uh, energy ball, sorry, wouldn't be doing any damage to Tox Croak. So I was hoping he'd be in Ice Beam variant and I could drain punch it. Unfortunately, he reveals the Psychic and I I, I explode, I die. <laughs> I am gone. So um, I'm going to go into my Hoopa because I'm pretty sure I can eat up one Scald. I do have, you know, Hoopa does have very good uh, special defense. Go for a T-Bolt on the Manaphy, but he's going to switch out into his Hoopa. I get extremely lucky and paralyze uh, his incoming Hoopa. Uh, which allows me to go for the next Shadow Ball, my hardest hitting move on this thing. And unfortunately, I just miss out on the KO, which really sucks. Getting rid of Hoopa and keeping my Hoopa would have been great. But unfortunately, uh, he lives with one. He doesn't get fully paralyzed. He takes up my Hoopa. And now his Hoopa goes down um, because Life Orb, but his Hoopa actually wasn't a huge problem for my team. I had a bunch of things that could uh, come in and revenge kill it at that point, um, especially because he was paralyzed. Anyways, I'm going to go into Shuckle here. Or sorry, I don't go Shuckle. I go... Oh, I do go Shuckle here, right. Um, I want to get up at least Stealth Rocks as soon as possible. As he goes Manaphy, and I really can't afford letting him Tail Glow again for free. So I go straight for the Encore, um, predicting the Tail Glow. If he wanted to go for a Scald, it wouldn't be doing that much to me. I'd have a free switch to Blastoise. I could get my Rocks up, etc. Um, I actually don't go for Rocks here, though, because I want to you know, maintain offensive momentum. Um, he's locked into Tail Glow for one more turn. And because of that, also, I know he's going to switch, probably trying to predict my Earthquake. Um, so trying to catch that Thunderous, I go straight for the Icicle Crash. And lo and behold, out comes the Thunderous. So this is great for me. This is another Pokemon that was pretty threatening, pretty troublesome for my team. It, you know, super fast, priority Thunder Wave. Really didn't want to deal with it. So knock out the Thunderous. Crit didn't matter. I'm an adamant Life Orb Mammal Swine. So Thunderous just goes down to that Icicle Crash. And that was, that was great. That was fantastic. <laughs> So now he goes into his low punny, which is another problem for my team. This thing has fake out for a free mega ev evolution. It has scrappy, so even if I had Hoopa, I wouldn't be able to switch in on it. I go Shuckle here just to take the hit, uh, kind of expecting him to fake out. Well, no. Yeah, I'm kind of expecting him to fake out first, because I could be Jolly, I could be Scarf, I could be something like that. Um, 
But he goes straight for high jump kick. I get lucky once again and uh, dodge that. He takes 50. As, um... What did I do here? I think I just... At, the, at this point, I get my Stealth Rocks up. And now, this turn is where I made the worst... The, the biggest misplay that eventually cost me the game. Like I said, in a matchup this bad, you really need to play aggressively. You need to keep up a lot of offensive momentum. I feel I should have hard switched directly into probably my Blastoise at this point. Either Blastoise or just something that could take advantage of the momentum. Instead, I go for the Encore on the Garchomp. But that kills all my momentum because now he's able to switch out into pretty much anything he wants as he goes into low punny as I switch into... So I go... I think I'm at Blastoise here. Or Mammal Swine. Yeah, I go Mammal Swine thinking he might stay in for some reason. I don't know. But that, that was definitely the misplay that cost me the game just because I, you know, I, I have no momentum now. I'm in the back now. He's controlling the pace. And uh, I go to Shuckle here. Pretty much just to sack it to this high jump kick. If he misses again, that's great. But you know, I can't get I can't get that lucky. I already got a T bolt para, and he missed high jump kick once, so definitely can't get that lucky. Um, he to a KO shuckle with high jump kick, and uh, at this point, I'm forced to go to Florges. It's the only thing that can take a hit from this uh, low punny. Um, but unfortunately, and I was thinking this as I went Florges too. Florges is like the freest Manaphy switching of all time, or Bisharp. Although Bisharp. Would be a little less scary. Manaphy just gets to tail glow for free on this, so knock out the low punny. And now Manaphy's gonna come in, and I decide to moonblast it just to get some damage off. I was thinking I wanna do that and then hopefully live a hit with Blastoise if he didn't have energy ball and finish it off with a dark pulse. Um, I could have calm minded here, but it was a roll as to whether um, his plus three scald would knock me out from that range uh, after I calm minded. Really didn't want to take that chance because uh, if I died. Um, I would have no. I would have had no chance of winning. So I decide to go for the Moonblast, um, do a decent amount of damage, and I do see he is indeed leftovers, which is great. Um, Splash Plate would have also just decimated my team. Um, but here I am definitely forced to sack my Florges, as he just goes straight for the Scald. And now Manaphy, which also outspeeds my whole team, by the way, because I can't put Sticky Web up against this team, is, you know, an enormous problem. It's at plus three. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's definitely an issue. So I'm going to go into my Blastoise here, and just like, you know, Manaphy's moveset is so great, I had to really hope he just didn't have Energy Ball. Maybe he was like Scald Psychic HP Fire or Scald Psychic Ice Beam, something like that. But as you guys will see, he unfortunately is... Oops, sorry about that. He unfortunately is, in fact, uh, Energy Ball. Blastoise goes down, and uh, my last mon is Mammal Swine. I know Mammal Swine can't live a Scald, and uh, that's pretty much that's going to be game. So, yeah, like I said, the team matchup was really hard because he had a he didn't even bring Bisharp out, but just him having Bisharp in the back posed a huge problem because I couldn't, you know, I couldn't play my game. I couldn't get my Sticky Web up because then Bisharp would have just beaten my team pretty much. Um, I didn't really have any answer to his Manaphy plus his low punny. Um, I really needed to keep playing aggressive, and you know, once I encored that Garchomp, I really just you know lost all my momentum, and he was able to just play it safe and uh, stay in front from, from that point. So that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching uh, episode one of Losers. Let me know what you guys think in the con in the uh, comments if you want. Uh, I guess what kind of material you want to see from this. You know, between matchups to just getting outplayed to things like that i'm not going to be posting any like anything where it's like oh i was going to win but then i missed or got paralyzed because that's that there's nothing you can really learn from that you just you know <laughs> don't don't miss next time <laughs> sacrifice your go goat uh better i guess i don't know but anyways yeah thanks for watching leave a like comment subscribe all the fun stuff because also by the way i will be streaming pokin i'm so excited for that i'll be streaming and also uploading youtube videos for pokin when i get my hands on that finally and yeah, I'm extremely hyped for that. Going in hard with Pikachu. And yeah, be ready for that. And that's it, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Later.